but Fabian and I were just talking. How do you convince people who live inland, who never come near an ocean, that what happens here impacts them directly? Well, that's a very interesting, very complicated question that I'm going to try and answer in a short amount of time. We depend on our oceans and on water in general for food, for water, and for health, and for air as well. More importantly, things that happen here end up on our dinner plate. And if we don't become proper stewards to our planet, and more specifically to our oceans, which seem so far away, we're not going to have any of those things. And we've been talking throughout the weekend, Fabian, about the person who doesn't think when they throw a plastic bag into a river or a plastic cup or a plastic water bottle. We, even though this is, seems like a pristine environment, we've seen those things washing up on shore around here. We're in some of the most pristine areas here in this area, and I was seeing debris floating around, plastic bags and cups and everything else. That washes out from way up in the mountains. It, it, you don't have to be on the ocean side to affect the oceans. And in turn, the cycle will come back to us and pollute our bodies. Yeah, and you know, we talk about things like global climate change and pollution and, and increasing acidity levels in the ocean. Just a couple of degree increase in the temperature of the waters here along this enormous barrier reef, the largest in the Western Hemisphere, can have a substantially negative impact on the coral, can it? That's correct. Coral reefs are like little underwater cities. Over 70% of the oceans depend on what's happening in the coral reefs. The coral reefs die, the fish go away. The fish go away, we have no more food. And the, the, the cycle keeps going like that. Not to mention that if these coral reefs here off the coast of Belize were, Belize were to die, it would leave no barrier between the low-lying mainland and the ravages of the ocean. People, and this is happening all around the world, people in low-lying areas, if they're surrounded by reefs and those reefs die, they're in big trouble. That's absolutely correct. All right. We're going to get to talk much more throughout the next day and a half, Fabian. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. Thank you.